Okay, we're all set to go. This better be legit. I don't want to be disappointed like last time. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Didn't work last time? Man of Steel review? Huh? Oh, that time. Yeah. Now you're talking about something else. Welcome back, moviegoers, to another Midnight Movie Madness. Joining here today is our special guest, Joe Mama. Mama. The movie we're going to be reviewing is Ender's Game, and since I brought our special guest, she has read the book, so she will lead us into what this movie is about. Um, this movie is pretty much about a dystopia kind of government where a long time ago we were invaded by aliens and the minds of adults just aren't working anymore. They're all pretty much overrun and just overused. So we start yeah. turning to children and using them as the go-to source to lead our armies and stuff. Of course. It's so. logical. <laughs> of course it's logical. So we have our main character, Ender, who is taken into battle school and is trained there to become a commander. It's just pretty much his story and going through battle school and the, you know, the isolation they put him through and the training they put him through. It's pretty, really, pretty, really good. Pretty, really good. Pretty, really good. <laughs> That's a new one. The child actor who plays Ender, Asa Butterfield, you all know him from Hugo. He plays Ender and he has a very commanding presence in whenever he's on screen uh, telling all the kids to do whatnot like you to B5 or Knight to Queen right. A or whatever. He's doing like <laughs> the Ron Weasley chess game. Yeah. Uh, you totally buy it. Also in the movie is Harrison Ford. What's his character's name again? Colonel Graff. Colonel Graff. This is probably one of the few times in Harrison Ford's later career where he's actually committed to the role. Like, yeah. he's finally doing some legit acting for once. <laughs> when I was reading the book, he was one of the characters that really stood out throughout the whole book. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy is a total, ugh, like, you know? <laughs> and I loved it that in the movie they can incorporate that, and Harrison Ford did a really good job, like, really, really good. You just, you hated him. <laughs> like, you were like, oh god, this guy's a jerk. Also in the movie is Haley Steinfeld as... Petra. Petra. <laughs> what is she? Is she in anything else? Because I can't... She was in True Grit. Oh my gosh, you're right! Also in this movie is Viola Davis. She's Major Gwen Anderson. She is like the psychiatrist on the ship that monitors like the kids' development because the kids in the training are really young. They're supposed to be like 6 to 15. And so as they're growing up, she monitors their brain development and makes sure they're not like going crazy on the ship. Yeah, we don't want another full metal jacket on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> One thing though that I have to say is some of the characters in the movie were just not the same in the in the book. Like there's so. Some. <laughs> well, um, for instance, the one antagonist throughout the um, battle school for Ender is the Bonzo kid. Bonzo, played, played by Moises Area. Moises? Moises. 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 Rico from Hannah Montana. Anyways, uh, his character is older than Ender and he's supposed to be like um, over dominating. And in the book, he was portrayed as short, not necessarily as short as he was in the movie. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's kind of hard to find this guy intimidating, you know, with this guy who's like a <laughs> foot shorter than Ender. Another thing that really bothered me is the um, relationship between Ender and Petra. Like, there was some like romantic thing going on there, and there was just none of that in the book. I was like, what is happening? Like, I didn't what? mind it. I was like, okay. Yes. How long ago have you read the book? I was in high school. I was like my senior year of high school, which was, I guess, about almost a year ago. What attracted you to the book? The movie trailer. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. I, well, that and uh, this kid had told me about it, and like we exchanged books. Like, like you read this, I read that. I'm all, I'm really into movies, and I'm really into books. So it's like if there's if they collate like together, I'm there. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And how many books are there? Because there's oh there's goodness. more than one book. Isn't yeah, it? there's like I don't even know. There's like 15 or something. And oh god. Yeah. Even though I have not read the book, I was thoroughly entertained by this. I was completely invested in the story of Ender. I wanted to know where it was going to lead up to and by the end of it I it got me interested to read the book so good job movie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
if I were if I were to see the movie alone, like stand alone without reading the book, I really it was very good. It was well um, acted. All the actors did a great job. And uh, CGI in this movie, yeah, it was is cool. Really, really good. I love the battle room. It's so cool. It's exactly what I imagined in the book. Like everything is monitored by your hand. Like do this, and up comes whatever he wants. And yeah, it's, it's, so, it's really cool. It's, this movie was directed by Gavin Hood. He directed two peculiar movies. One of which. Satsi ended up winning the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Second movie, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh! <laughs> and when I first heard that he was doing this, I was worried as hell. I was like, oh man, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be just as bad as that. <laughs> But after watching that, I realized that he is a capable filmmaker of telling a cohesive story. On the scale of 1 to 10, what would you give Ender's Game? I'd give Ender's Game a 6.5. Really? Yes. That seems low. <laughs> I can't help it. Fine, I'll give it a 7. That's much better. I just, there were some scenes that I was like, this is just too kiddish, and Spook was not kiddish at all. Like, okay. let's shoot each other's legs, let's find out what these guns do. Well, they are kids. They're. But they're in zero ground. But like, they're, they're geniuses. Fun, like, like there's like, a part where he was with Petra or whatever. They're like doing the wrestling thing. And they're like, uh, 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 how'd you learn that? I had an older brother. I was like, what? And you call me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I'm going to give Ender's Game an 8 out of 10. It's a good story for families to enjoy. The acting is excellent. The special effects are phenomenal and it has a lot going for it than what people make it out to be. So that concludes our show. I'm the host. I'm Joe Mama. And we will see you next time on another Midnight Movie Madness. Peace.